Instead of just dancing and emphasizing her way around TikTok, Tia Mowry is now seeming to embrace the role of victim in the divorce that has brought her back into mainstream relevancy. But this time, instead of just throwing subliminals at her ex-husband, Corey Hardrick, she's dragging her twin sister, Tamara, into her pity party. Since she blindsided her ex-husband by filing for divorce almost two years ago and announcing it as starting a new chapter on October 4th, 2022, the same day her sister Tamara's memoir came out, Tia Maori has seemed to be moving funny. Not only did she almost immediately begin a publicity round where she referred to her divorce as graduating from a successful marriage and it being the best gift that she could give her kids to see their mother living her truth and chasing her joy as an example for their own lives. She also immediately took to social media, putting on a display of happiness that had some people in the comments wondering just what the heck Corey had done to Tia to make her so ecstatic to be getting a divorce. Sure, in her TikToks, Corey sometimes came across as having a more serious vibe and not really wanting to fool around doing viral trends. But it's not as if Tia was unaware of his quiet nature when she picked him up from that bus stop over 20 years ago. And sure, for most of the marriage, Tia was probably the main breadwinner. But Corey had also been steadily building a serious filmography of over 80 projects that had him getting noticed playing major roles in several big screen movies alongside A-list actors that eventually had him bringing in more money than Tia for the first time. Something which bothered her so much that she publicly shared her feelings on her YouTube channel with almost 1 million subscribers and blurted out that she knows his higher paycheck was because he was a man. Now I'm gonna say this, I even see it with, cause my husband is an actor. Mm -hmm. Corey, yeah. Corey, Mr. Corey Hardrick. And when he booked a role, he was getting paid more money than me. And I'm like, what? I have been in this business for so long. I have shown my credibility, and this is like Corey's first television show, and I and I really think it was because he Who's is a male. Oh, I'm gonna speak up for Corey. He deserved it. <laughs> Corey, 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 Corey. You deserved it. Corey. Love you, man. So in her mind, it had nothing to do with the fact that Corey had more acting credits than she did and had more roles in big screen movies than she did. It was like she was so used to measuring her importance in their relationship by the fact that she made more money that Tia couldn't see or completely discounted that her husband had been putting in steady work that could eventually change that dynamic. And when it did, she was left not being able to adjust to the fact that in her own eyes, the perceived value that she brought to the relationship had gone down. And about eight months after that revelation, Tia filed for divorce to chase her truth and her joy. And in the midst of acting like, in her own words, graduating from her successful marriage was the best thing that ever happened to her, she was sharing throwback posts from her TV show, The Game, where her character caught her man cheating on her, liking posts about toxic partners not contributing around the home, sharing thirst traps and dating horror stories, clapping back at comments telling her to go back home by saying her marriage no longer served her, before almost doing a complete 180 and posting about how she was recovering from her divorce and audibly getting emotional when she talks about one day hopefully being able to look back at this time with nothing but warmth and gratitude for the beautiful children brought into her life and how she was taking her power back before the very next week announcing her new reality show Tia Maori My Next Act which airs its first episode on October 4th, 2024. 
exactly two years to the date of her making that divorce announcement that basically catapulted the public's interest in her to a level that hadn't been matched since her days on Sister Sister. In a previous video, we discussed the possibility that someone had gotten into Tia's ear at a vulnerable time and tricked her into thinking that divorce was somehow going to be the key to restoring her own sense of value and self-worth. And WeTV just released a first look at Tia's new reality show where Tia is acting as if the divorce somehow happened to her. She's crying with her friends about how it's not easy going through a divorce and how after she signed her divorce papers, she had to get right back to work and she hasn't been able to fully process what had just happened. She also expresses that she wants to be known and seen for her work and not drama. And in the very next breath, again throws her ex under the bus by agreeing that while people may see her on TikToks dancing and acting unfazed by her divorce, they have no idea what she's been going through for years and that this is the first time that she realizes she has a choice to be happy and she never realized that before. She took another dig at her ex who has been mostly silent during this entire process aside from reiterating how much he loves his family, he did not cheat on his wife, and more recently, during the press run for his number one movie, Divorce in the Black, opposite Megan Good, he admitted that the role was almost cathartic for him, as he had privately gone through a period of crying himself to sleep every night for 18 months after the breakup of his family. And part of his healing was being able to focus on his work, which now has him being out and about at more events to promote his projects in as many venues as possible. Which had Corey and Tia sharing what some refer to as an awkward encounter as they both attended the same red carpet event. And upon coming face to face, Tia waved while Corey seemed to initiate a handshake, which upon seeing Tia move closer, he changed into a quick hug which he was already stepping away from when Tia started giving the backpacks that across the world symbolize, okay, that's enough. Well, Tia decided to dress this awkward moment in her new series and said this. The red carpet video? Yeah about that. This was the first time that Corey and I had ever seen each other on the red carpet since the divorce. This is an event where women are being celebrated and honored and I just, he had never gone to any one of these events. I go to them almost every year. Tia couldn't just leave it at this was the first time we had seen each other on a red carpet since the divorce. No, she had to give the impression that Corey was someplace he had no business being because it was an event honoring women that she goes to almost every year while he has never attended events like these. Again, discounting the fact that he was there for the same reason she was, networking. Tia further discusses how she was tired of people thinking that her marriage was perfect when it wasn't while agreeing with S.S. Atkins that she had been acting in her life and how she had lost herself but was learning how to live again and how now she is so excited for her future. Now whether or not Corey will actually make an appearance on this new reality show is anyone's guess. But one person who we know definitely won't is her twin sister Tamara because Tia expressed that the most challenging part of her divorce was being alone and how she wishes that she and her sister were still close and she could pick up the phone and call her. Being alone has been the most challenging part of my divorce. It's times like this when I feel and wish that my sister and I were still close and I could, you know, pick up the phone and call her. But that's just not where we are right now. She was basically throwing shade at her sister by giving the impression that Tamara hasn't been supportive of her during her divorce. While it seems that Tamara may be feeling that Tia has shut her out because during an interview with ET back in May, when Tamara was asked about Tia's new reality show, 
Tamara admitted that she found out with the rest of the world that Tia was filming a new show. And in response to the question of whether we would see her on the show, Tamara said that Tia didn't ask her. <laughs> Tia's returning to reality TV. Uh, I know. Did, I didn't know until didn't. I found out with the rest of the world. Any chance we'll see you on there? Uh, she didn't ask me. <laughs> she did it. So I take that as... No. <laughs> You're like, then now we're good. No, she's like, this is my story. Right. And, you know, I can only respect that. Of course. Now, whether their estrangement was because of the divorce or something else, neither has revealed. But the two are definitely on different paths right now. With Tamara being a seemingly happily married woman and Tia embracing life in the streets as her new series shows her letting male dancers grind on her and lick her face while she cries about not having love in her life. Are you and Adam trying to set her up on any dates or anything? Are you guys playing Cupid at all? See, this is the thing. Tia is living her life right mm -hmm. now and Tia is doing Tia. I feel like she doesn't want any of our our input right now and that's and i can only respect that so what do you think about tia throwing her ex-husband and sister under the bus as she tries to revitalize her career is tia doing too much with this reality show let me know what you think in the comments remember to like and subscribe for more thanks for watching have fun today